Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Justin Stapleton. I hope you've all had a good weekend out doing some last minute Christmas shopping. If you still have a couple of days to do that, well, you're going to be dealing with some scattered showers and much warmer air as well. We've got the winds pumping in out of the Gulf ahead of a cold front that will be sliding through here tomorrow afternoon. That'll kick off some showers and thunderstorms and the remnants of that will hang out for both Tuesday and early Wednesday as well. So do expect to see at least a chance, probably 30, 40 percent over the next couple of afternoons. Secondary front moves in Wednesday into to Christmas Eve that will kick the uh, moisture south for about a day, meaning that we will start off Christmas Day dry. But then as we get to the afternoon, this warm front moves back on shore and that'll bring another chance for some scattered showers. I think the majority of that will be in through the afternoon and evening hours. So not feeling very white Christmassy out there. We're going to be in the 70s for Christmas Day and most of the week and a chance probably 30% for some afternoon evening showers. So here's how it all lays out. First day of winter officially tomorrow evening kicks off at 1049 local time for us here. Won't feel like it though in the mid 70s. We'll keep mid 70s, maybe even touching close to 80 in some spots Wednesday as we'll drop the rain chances back to about 30% overnight lows stay very mild in the 60s as well. Then a dry looking Christmas Eve, a chance for some afternoon scattered showers on Friday. Then a stronger cold front kicks through here Saturday afternoon overnight into Sunday. We could see a chance for some strong, maybe a few isolated severe thunderstorms as that sweeps through. Some colder air finally moves in, knocking our temperatures back into the upper 50s to low 60s, but also clear skies out as we get in towards the last week of 2015. That's your forecast for this Christmas week so far. Make sure you're following us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll continue to keep it updated as you get ready for travel plans headed in and out of town. And thanks again for logging on to clicktohouston.com.